Who's in there? It's all those idiot boys from the school, is it, eh? Come on. Let's go. Well, how did you... <laughs> The earliest example of a scarecrow being scary in a horror film that I can think of is Nosferatu 1922. There's a scene in which the villagers are searching for an escaped mental patient called Nock, which is a rip-off of Redfield because they were trying to get around the copyright of Dracula. They're looking for this escaped mental patient and they see someone stood up on the hill and they think, ah, that must be them. And so there's this scene where the villagers storm the hill to attack this person who's just stood there quite still and it's a bit creepy and a bit odd and then they get to them and they realise it's just a scarecrow. Uh, and this is quite a classic horror trope of the suspense followed by the relief, you know, or the reveal or whatever. Um, but to my mind, as far as I know, it's the first creepy scarecrow in horror. Uh, let me know anyone if there are any earlier examples you can think of. But why a scarecrow is creepy? I mean, there's nothing innately scary about a scarecrow. Unless you're a crow. I don't think even crows find scarecrows scary, really. Or you should peck at them or something, you know. Creepers, creepers. Flash forward to 2001, uh, there's Jeepers Creepers. A creeper wears a big old hat and coat, you know, and there's a great scene in the film where he stood in someone's garden and not moving. And of course, he looks just like a scarecrow, with the the hat and everything, and, he, and and you know he's even positioned like a scarecrow. And there's a there's a moment. I think the first time you watch the film, there is a feel of, is that really him, it, or or is it a scarecrow? Get the hell away from him! What are you doing, Trish? Get the hell away from me! So in both those cases, the. Uh, the case of Nosferatu where it does turn out to be a scarecrow and the case of Jeepers Creepers where you think it might be but then it turns out not to be. They're both cases of mistaken identity and that is the crux of what is creepy about scarecrows. Uh, the whole supernatural thing of scarecrows coming to life I don't think is scary. Um, if anything it puts me in mind of Wurzel Gummidge. But it takes a lot to make me scared of something supernatural. I, I appreciate a good ghost story, but scarecrows coming to life isn't scary. But there is something about a lone scarecrow stood in a field that is eerie. Uh, they, they use this great effect in a, a Hammer film called Captain Clegg, uh, also known as Nightcrawlers, uh, which is one of the good Hammer films. It's quite an underrated one, I think. The smugglers use scarecrows, um, they, they, they hide their men inside scarecrows and then jump out, be a bit like highwaymen. Um, and there's a bit where one of the king's men shoots a scarecrow in the distance because he swears he saw it move and then they go off up to the scarecrow to investigate and it's just a scarecrow. But then they look even closer and they see there's blood around the bullet hole so there was someone inside the scarecrow but they've escaped. You know, so you've got, you got all this brilliant stuff going on with that, uh, it's very effective. So, why are scarecrows scary? Uh, are they scary? But the next time you find yourself passing through the countryside and you see a lone figure stood in the distance, will you assume it's just a sack of straw tied to a post of an old hat? A strange, motionless man staring at you from across the fields. <laughs> the idea of mistaken identity there makes farmers seem scary as well. It feeds into that whole thing of like, uh, oh, there could be someone inside it, you know, because it's that, that, that side of horror, um, small places and weird behavior, you know. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Did I scare you? No, no, I, I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you? No, of course not. I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs>